Hello from the homestead. Today we are making chicken florentine. And I'm sure you've had chicken florentine before. I'm sure that you've made it before. Well, I don't know that I have ever made it. And the one or two times I've had it, I didn't really care for it. But I came across this recipe and I thought, you know, I'm gonna give that one a try. So last night I did. And let me tell you, it was, mwah, it was off the chart. So viral workaholic said, honey, make it again. This time you have to record it. So that's what we're gonna do today. Come along, we're making chicken florentine on the homestead. So the first thing we're going to do is get our ingredients together. And right now I have my chicken thawing in the microwave because I sort of forgot to get out of the freezer. So the next thing we need, we need salt and pepper to taste. We need a third of a cup of flour for dredging. We need two tablespoons of olive oil. And I don't have olive oil, but I do have the oil that my garlic has been marinating in, my dehydrated garlic. So my oil has a nice garlicky flavor. Um, let's see, we need four tablespoons of butter. Butter. Uh, we need five cloves of garlic that have been minced. I don't have any fresh garlic, but I will be using my dried garlic. It's nice and soft sitting in the oil. Uh, let's see, what else? We need three quarters of a cup of dry white wine. And if you don't have wine, you can do what I'm doing. You can use three quarters cup of chicken stock. And because I don't have chicken stock, I'm using turkey. And this is just uh, turkey stock that I've had in the freezer from Thanksgiving, so it's nice and flavorful. We need a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Whoa. Check. We need one cup of heavy cream. Check. We need two cups of baby spinach. And this is fresh from my garden. So check. And we need three quarters of a cup of Parmesan that has been grated and uh, check. So um, that's our list of ingredients. So in order to get ready to dredge the chicken and the flour, we're going to salt and pepper. And again, this is just, just to taste however much you would like to have. Okay. Get that a little stir. And the flour is ready. So next we'll need uh, two tablespoons of the olive oil and we'll need two tablespoons of butter. And I have that heating up in a heavy bottom skillet. Um, well, that's pretty much it until the chicken's on thought. I'm gonna pause the video and I'll bring you back when we're ready to get things plated up. Or I'm sorry, when we're ready to get things ready to cook. Alrighty, the chicken is defrosted and uh, the chicken's all defrosted and all I'm simply going to do right now is just start dredging it in the flour. The oil and the butter have just about completely melted and warmed up. So we'll ju we're just dredging the chicken. And these chicken breasts were pretty thick. So I went ahead and uh, basically did a fillet or a butterfly, if you will, 
on them just to make them thinner so it won't take as long for them to cook. These unfortunately are not from my own chickens. I actually ran out. So as soon as the eggs in my incubator hatch, I will take however many eggs hatch and take the equivalent of my flock and put them in freezer camp. So we'll just dredge all the chicken And this is really very simple. The most difficult part of it is waiting for the chicken to fry. Okay. Move this flour out of the way. All right. The butter and the oil have heated up, and I'm going to turn the light on so you can see what we're doing. There we go. Now we're just going to take the chicken and lay it in there gently. And depending on the size of your pan and the size of your chicken, you can do three or four or even five pieces at a time. You don't want to overcrowd your pan. So we'll just give that time to start frying up. So you just want your chicken to be lightly golden brown. You want it to get done, but you don't want to overcook it. So we'll let that go just for another couple of minutes. Now we're ready to make up the sauce. So in the pan drippings that I already have, I'm going to add approximately two tablespoons of garlic. And we'll give that just a minute to soften. So in my pot with um, just a little bit of my pan drippings and my garlic, I added my turkey stock. And I'm just going to let this reduce by half and then uh, I'll bring it back and show you how we finish it up. Alrighty, the uh, sauce has reduced, the garlic has softened. Now we're going to reduce the heat because we don't want to break our cream. Let this cool down just for a little little minute Give that a stir. And I'm going to add, um, I don't know, a good two hefty tablespoons of Italian seasoning. And let that cook through. And we'll just let this simmer for a few minutes. Now, right here is where I need to add a confession. 
right here in the recipe is where I would be adding two um, small cans of mushrooms. Like, I don't know, what are they, like four ounces, five ounces, the small cans, or one large can, whatever you have. Well, the key word is whatever you have. I don't have any. So I sent Mark a text and said, can you pick me up some mushrooms on your way home from work? So I'm going to make the recipe. I'm going to finish it up. But then at the end, when Mark gets home and I go to plate it up, I will magically have added the mushrooms. So, um, <laughs> you know, it happens. I did good to remember to get the chicken out of the freezer today. So um, I'm going to bring it back, show you how to finish up the sauce. And when he gets home with the mushrooms, I'll plate it up and show you how, how well it looks, how good it looks at the end. I'm going to put on some rice and get it cooked up. And then that way I'll have it when he gets home with the mushrooms. So um, let's get back to the sauce. The cream is nice and warm. Now we'll add the spinach and you can remove the stems if you want. This is really nice baby spinach. So I'm not going to worry about it today. And we'll get that in there and let that wilt up. And we'll just let that hang out and simmer for a minute. All right, now we can add the parm. And I'm just going to add a couple big handfuls. Mix that in. Give it a taste test. Mmm, excellent. So now I'm just going to stop the video here, wait for Mark to get home with the mushrooms, and uh, get the rice going, and I'll bring you back here in a little bit. Well, folks, here you have it. Chicken Florentine on the homestead. By the chicken. By the sauce, a bite of rice. Here we go. Bite of chicken, bite of rice, bite of sauce. chicken Florentine. It's what's for dinner tonight. So I'm Bev. This is Hitch Chick Urban Homestead. Make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you later.